there, Laura here. Today I am doing a collab with our, what used to be the Sweet 16 group, but we realised we didn't have 16 in the group anymore, so it's now the Baker's Dozen group. And um, Cat Blue came up with an idea of doing a gemstone inspired look. And um, my first thought when I was thinking gemstones was amethyst, because I've got some amethyst jewellery, but um, probably quite a few people will do that. So I'm doing, rather than a gemstone as such, it's a semi-precious stone, because I thought oh, possibly some it, nobody might do this one. And I'm going to do tiger's eye. And these are some tiger eye earrings that I've got. And these are some more. So they're, they're brown with that gold kind of shift in the middle of them. I feel like when we think of gemstones and things, we don't usually think of brown. So I just thought it might be something different to do. So I'm going to um, start off and I'm going to be using my California Love palette, which is one of those palettes that it's pretty much a neutral palette. And when I saw it online, it was like, that looks pretty boring. And then I watched some people swatch it and make looks out of it. And um, it was really pretty. And I still don't know why it attracts me so much. Maybe because it's a like a warm brown neutral palette and it's got that pop of orangey yellow and things in it. But I haven't used it very much, so I'm going to use that today. And I'll also be using my uh -huh, Honey palette for a bit of the yellow. And I'll probably use a couple of shadows in my Pan That palette, my Profusion Beauty 101. And I'll probably, what else? I might even go into my BYS Prismatic palette and maybe get something here. And I might use some of my Focal Law Eye Glitter in Platinum, which is that word I can't say, so <laughs> I don't know why I always have trouble with that word. So I'm going to start off with a fluffy brush, and I'm going to go into Sequoia, which is this one here. This really annoys me when on the back of the palettes they have the names, but they're opposite, so they're like, this is Sequoia, but if you looked at the back where that one is that's not what that says sequoia is that one there so they've swapped them around and it's like why 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 do that we don't look at the names in a mirror to read them <laughs> it's weird but i prime my eyes and now i'm going to go in with this sequoia color and work that in my crease so I'll have um, everyone's information linked down below and all the people that are in this collab. Then I'm going to go into Mission, which is this dark brown here. And it's got little glitters in it, which I don't think will stay in. I think they will buff away. But for a precious, semi-precious stone look, gemstone look, glitter also it kind of works and I think the tiger eye look kind of suits a halo eye so that's what I'm going to do so I'm also going to put some of this on the inner corner and then I'm going to go into this one Highway one. Now I'm going to go back into Sequoia. I'm going to go into the Aha uh -huh Honey palette. And I want to go into Sweet Spot, this one up here. I'm going to go into my pan that palette and get this gold here. This is where I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, I think. I know. 
I'm gonna have to fix the shape up a bit with the dark brown as I go. And I'm gonna go back into the dark brown from here. I'm going to go in with some glitter glue. This is just the e.l.f. glitter glue. I'm going to get, I think, I think I'm going to get Suave from the Prismatic palette, which I think because I'm not entirely certain, but I think I need a sponge applicator for that because it's hard to pick up on a brush. So it's kind of a creamy product and it doesn't work that well on your finger either. And I'm also going to get some more glitter glue and I just want to put it around here don't know if this is going to work but we will see and I want to go in with this glitter here El Capitan and I'm just going to use the same brush but I don't want it too opaque I just want a little suggestion of it. Because I think this glitter will go well with the tiger eye feel. I'm just going to press it on with my finger so I don't end up with it all over my face. And then I'm going to get the platinum and a teeny tiny brush. This is just a paint brush. This is a um, Triple O, so really small. And I want to do a little line. Is that it? Is it giving you tiger eye vibes yet? Okay, I'm going to go back into this palette and I'm just going to be using this brown in Highway 1 and Mission and just kind of finesse the edges a bit. Lots of gems and precious stones and crystals and things all have different kind of healing properties if you're into that kind of thing. And so I just looked up a few ones of what Tiger Eye is supposed to do. So for um, and I looked it up on Pinterest, so Buddha Groove on Pinterest says for Tiger Eye gives strengthening energy, Tiger Eye motivates you to take initiative, pursue action and make things happen. It's a stone of willpower and vitality, but don't be fooled, Tiger's Eye is, a gro is as grounding as it is energising, even, am even amongst all the moving and shaking you'll maintain a clear level head. We've got so far. Is it, is it giving you tiger eye vibes? I think it is. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. Use this banded brown stone to overcome fears and be bold. So that was one of the meanings I found for tiger eye. Another one I found on Pinterest, which was from Rocks with Sass, was Tiger Eye, the stone of wisdom, courage, protection, balance, and prosperity. Alleviates depression and lifts moods, helps overcome fatigue and discouragement, and allows shattered thoughts, feelings, and information to come together in a way that makes sense. This one is from rainbowspirit.co.uk, and Crystal of the Day. 
tiger eyes. The fiery flecks of yellow tiger's eye portray its solar plex corresponds for protecting and cleansing a mental block, directing focus onto what's at stake in the present moment. So that's a bit like the other one where it says it clarifies things, your thoughts. And this one here from Karma An. Tiger Eye lets you see everything. It stimulates taking action and helps you make decisions with discernment and understanding and unclouded by your emotions. Traditionally, it was carried as an amulet against curses or ill wishing and is known to give you courage, self-confidence and strength of will. So, there's a few little fun things about Tiger Eye. Then I'm going to go into my Midas Touch from Gigi. And then I'm going to use my lip art from Rimmel, and this is in blush gold, just for the very centre. So I'm kind of mim mimicking what I've got on my eyes and my lips. <coughs> now I just need to put my earrings in. So not all of us will be doing this collab, and it may be going out over a few days, so although we're going to post on the 26th. Some of us couldn't post on that day. So we sort of said, well, any time between the 26th and the end of the month. So you might get a sort of a staggered view of the different gemstone-inspired looks. And the people in this collab, but I'm not sure exactly who's joining in. I know some of them are and some of them can't do it, but I will tell you who they are. So there's me, of course, Laura from Cold Star Work. And there's Amy and Chrysalis. And there's 4F Beauty, Angie. And there's, there's Kaylee Wesley. There's Cat Blue, of course, because she was the one that came up with this particular idea. And Kitty J Havoc, Little Miss Lipstick, and Nikki Raven, and Anya Stamper. And I hope you will go and check out all their videos. And even if they're not doing the collab, then um, just go check out their channels if you haven't already, because they're all great creators and they all do wonderful looks and colourful, imaginative. Some of them do more everyday wearable looks, although I wear everything I create every day, no matter how crazy it is. <laughs> and they're all just really fun to watch, and they're all very supportive and chatty, and they will talk back to you, and they're just great people to have in your life. So I would encourage you to go and check them all out. And there is my tiger eye inspired look. So thanks for watching everyone and don't forget to check out all those people down below and I will see you next time. Bye!